ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday morning, the 24th day of June. James Spann here. Looks like the weather today will be relatively quiet, but rain chances increasing as we approach the weekend ahead. Let's go to some Skycam shots. These were taken yesterday and uh, noticed some uh, really nice sunset scenes back in the western sky about uh, 8 o'clock last night. There's a look at the view coming from the Birmingham Skycam. Enough clouds in the uh, sky to really make a, a nice texture and a nice scene there. There's the uh, Tuscaloosa view coming from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. That's nice. And from Mount Sheehaw. Looking off to the uh, western horizon there, again, those were taken about 8 o'clock last night. Uh, and this morning, a quick peek at the view coming from Selma. That's the uh, Edmund Pettus Bridge crossing the Alabama River on a clear morning. Water vapor satellite imagery this morning, trough over the east. And I had a little boundary uh, come down that flow yesterday that uh, kicked off a few showers. But this morning, the weather is quiet. The uh, convective action is uh, way out west, and more than likely it will stay there today. Got a severe weather risk roughly from... Kansas City up to the Canadian border. Uh, day two tomorrow, Wednesday, a slight risk up north all the way from uh, Wyoming, Colorado, Montana, over to the Great Lakes. And on day three, which is Thursday, a slight risk up north. Again, uh, some of the cities in that risk would include Omaha, Des Moines, Minneapolis, Chicago, Columbus, Ohio, Buffalo, New York City. And uh, on into the day four and five period, uh, late this week and early in the weekend, same deal. The uh, main Convective action up north in terms of the organized severe weather threat, and that's what you expect here in this time of the year. On the QPF map, uh, boy, look at the numbers ramping up on the Gulf Coast from New Orleans over to uh, Apalachicola. That's suggesting some three- to four-inch rains down there with a deeper plume of moisture moving north. Uh, around here, the, uh, the northern half of the state, the numbers are suggesting about one-half inch, and this is valid through Saturday evening, and then some good numbers up north around the Great Lakes. Uh, in the Gulf, we are watching just disorganized clouds down there, and that deeper moisture should be moving northward. No tropical storm formation expected, but uh, we do expect a pretty good surge of moisture coming from the Gulf late this week, as you'll see. Here's the OZGFS valid at 1 o'clock today. This is at 500 millibars. Trough moving off the northeast coast, a zonal flow up north. That's a zonal. It's got some waves embedded in there. And a ridge in place down here, and we think the day will be generally dry. Now, you know, hey, this is summer. There's always the chance of a pop-up shower somewhere, but they should be few and far between today. And really, tomorrow about the same. We'll mention isolated showers, but uh, it looks like most areas will stay dry. Thursday, we note the deeper moisture beginning to move in from the south, but still, that's suggesting that the uh, better chance of scattered showers would be down south. We'll mention scattered afternoon showers Thursday. And then Friday, a pretty moist air mass covers all of the deep south. So scattered, mainly, afternoon showers and storms with a mix of sun and clouds. The high should be close to 90. Saturday, a strong short wave is up in the uh, north, the westerlies over the Great Lakes up north of here. Uh, we've still got ridging, but again, that very moist air mass in place. So uh, scattered showers and storms, a definite possibility. And then Sunday, a trough begins to carve out uh, from the Great Lakes down to the Tennessee Valley in a surface front. Approaching from the north, interacting from that with that moist air mass should mean uh, scattered, maybe numerous showers and storms on Sunday. And Monday of next week, the front makes it down to the Tennessee Valley and stops. We are the cold front graveyard this time of the year, you know. And Tuesday, the moisture goes nowhere. So the latest run here hinting that drier air this time will not reach us, and uh, that would suggest a chance of scattered showers and storms over the latter part of this week, over the weekend, and early next week. We'll go out three more days. How about the 5th of July? How about another eastern U.S. trough? That is a almost a fixture in the forecast for the next 15 days over the east. Heat bubble over the southwest around the four corners. And uh, that looks like some dry air tries to punch down into north Alabama with a deeper moisture down south. And at the end of the forecast period, the 9th of July, now this time there's no eastern U.S. trough here. Uh, ridge firmly over the United States. The uh, main weakness is... Uh, up through Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, but a pretty moist air mass in there. And, again, that looks very typical for uh, early July with uh, warm and muggy conditions and a few scattered showers and storms around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video posted by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.